Hey y'all, it's my birthday. <laughs> Sorry, my phone is blowing up over here to sell the birthday wishes coming in. <laughs> I'm Steven. And I'm Kevin. In today's episode of the Steven and Kevin Show, we're going to talk about maximizing birthdays. Welcome back, everybody. Episode 32 of the Steven and Kevin Show. And when Kevin says maximizing birthdays. I only take that one way because today is in fact Kevin's birthday. So he would love to maximize this day. But yeah. it got us thinking, <laughs> wouldn't it be great to put together a birthday edition of the Stephen and Kevin show? Yeah. We know almost all of you have some policies in place for wishing clients a happy birthday. And we've heard some good ideas for this over the years. So we thought we'd try to cobble all of them together and throw them at you so that maybe you'll be inspired because frankly, you have a client that's having a birthday probably today or this week, sometime soon, and you can honor them in a special way that's gonna be very memorable. Yeah, and people really do like feeling appreciated on their birthday. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, even so much that we're gonna shoot a show about it. And look, I didn't come in saying, <laughs> oh, hey guys, it's my birthday, like it's a big deal. I don't make a big deal out of my birthday We whatsoever. were slightly surprised that Kevin came in today. He's usually one of those guys who <laughs> says, it's my birthday, taking the day off. I am not one of those people. No, not at all. But let's get into it. Um, I, yeah, I think there's a lot of creative ways to maximize um, you know, birthdays for clients or key relationships. And we're going to go back and forth with just uh, a few different ideas. Steven has more ideas than I have. So we're, I'm a little worried about that. I just have some filler on my page of notes. That <laughs> yeah. Mine's just a couple bullets. I hope I don't underwhelm him with this, but Hey, before yeah. we get started on this, just a quick plug for the coaching. If you haven't uh, looked at our coaching program yet, it is the industry leader for a reason. Yes. And we want everybody thinking about right now amidst the dog days of summer or, or what are the chances that next week, next month, you're going to be doing more or better marketing, that your team is going to be more functional, providing better service. The odds left to your own devices are not very good. People tend to, to remain in their own habit patterns unless there's some outside forces, i.e. a coach, prodding them, giving them some ideas, and helping them do bigger and better numbers. So that's what we're here for. Uh, we got a link in the show notes for our coaching consultation form. Mm -hmm. It's very helpful, even if you're you're not full out sold on doing coaching yet, take us up on a consultation. We're happy to have that call with you and it'll be helpful. Uh, but we feel strongly about the value that coaching provides to people looking to bring in more business and do better for their clients. What a plug. That was great. Well, oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was good. It was either, really you know, good. I feel good about uh, the product. It makes I, it easy to I push, you was know? impressed. All right, let's get into so, today's topic. Um, that's birthday ideas. And I'm gonna give you the first idea here and it's gonna be a mind blower. And that is birthday cards yeah pretty pretty clever huh all right well, this no, is long, <laughs> no but, uh, but really here here's some thoughts on birthday cards because i know a lot of you do them um no company logos on birthday cards no sales pitches no like hey we need to schedule a meeting just a real quality card and if you can write something in that card that's you know something that you appreciate about them personally um or something you you can recall about them i i think it's gonna it, it's really gonna go a long ways yeah. As opposed it, to the generic happy birthday with yeah, a signature. Yeah, you might as well not even send us. Yeah. Um, well, also, birthday cards for clients, kids. That's a neat one. Um, both spouses. Don't forget both spouses. And this one might be a little bit of a stretch, but what about pets? Is that is that weird? Ooh, I like that one. Really? Yeah. I mean, hey, some people are really into their pets' birthdays. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 It is what it is. <laughs> so send them a card. Do not include right. on that card. Our special offer to you, Mr. Nichols, is that uh, on your birthday, we're willing to offer five of your friends a second opinion yeah, on their portfolio. Yeah, see, exactly. And, and, and no company logos either. I think you're void of all of that. Just Another one to keep in mind is milestones. Um, you know, if you got somebody hitting 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, whatever the age is, if it's a milestone, we go a little bit of above and, uh, above and beyond. You could mm. ask the spouse for some pictures. You could make up a picture collage to send to them. Whoa. I remember at Matt's, uh, Matt's birthday a while back, a milestone birthday, yep. somebody had a, a fat head blown up of Matt. Right? Yeah, you yeah. Know, fat heads yep. usually of athletes, but uh, he had a similar thing done of him. It was great, and, and everybody wanted to know where it came from. Yeah, that, oh, that is cool. So you can go over and above uh, for milestones, birthdays, or parties, uh, you know, birthday parties or, or whatnot. Here's um, an idea on the same, you know, talking about cards still, but what about sending half birthdays? Hey, it's their half birthday. Is that, is that, a, is that a little random? Oh, half birthday in terms of uh, splitting the difference yeah. between husband yeah. and wife. Uh, 
It's a little hokey to me, but I, I uh, like it. You know, it, it, the one good thing about it is that you're definitely going to stand out. I mean, no one else is probably doing that. <laughs> no, it's to me though. It would strike me as a client of being like, what? So you like you couldn't put forth the energy to call us both on our birthdays, so you decided to split so the difference. It's both your guys, it's your half. Birthday thanks for your today. efficiency, but uh, no thanks. <laughs> I, uh, sending like gifts it. to kids and grandkids. You know, we've had uh, many advisors over the years will say they they do very simply, no matter what the age. If the kids are four or ten. They'll send out a gift uh, certificate for one cone of ice cream at a local mm. ice cream shop, yep. right? Just generating goodwill. Great. Uh, birthday lunches, mm -hmm. uh, another very common um, idea here. If you're having problems with that one, so, you, you know, what you could do is, is pull everyone together. I mean, if you're thinking, oh, my gosh, I can't go to individual lunches with all my clients, uh, but pull all the you know, June birthdays together and have them all bring three friends or something like that. I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a bigger group, but you're going to get a lot of exposure to, to new people and you're going to knock out a lot of birthdays at once. Yeah. Yeah. I'm processing the bring a friend part of it. You, do you think, though, it comes across as a little bit contrived or a little bit marketing focused if you have them bring a friend? I think, yeah, I think it becomes marketing focused if you're saying, hey, and tell me who you want to invite and I'll, inv I'll call them on your behalf. But if you said, hey, and you could bring a, a couple people along, you have a two or three extra seats for you, right. something like that. Smooth. All right. Yep. Uh, knowing their clients, uh, knowing your clients' favorite desserts and dropping it off for them. Mm. You know, most everybody's got a nice bakery in town. Your clients all have preferences, whether it's the carrot cake or the, uh, you know, cheesecake. What's your What's your fancy, Kevin? Definitely cheesecake. Cheesecake. Oh, Love nice. cheesecake. So if you were here in Greensboro and you're wanting to surprise Kevin on his birthday, drop off some cheesecakes by Alex. Oh, that would right? be awesome. You'd be his new best buddy. Um, next one: monitoring birthdays on LinkedIn, Facebook, sending them a message through Facebook, LinkedIn. I mean, uh, look. I mean, it, it, it's it's easy to identify. And, and by the way, clients is one thing, but what about other relationships too that are just just really important to you? Whether it's a center of influence or um, a pr prospect seeing that stuff on social media, reaching out to them, sending a message. And, and even through like, I mean, Facebook, obviously the great part about it is that you know, other people see the message, but with LinkedIn, you can send them an email too, right? I mean, you can just, uh, you know, say, hey, I saw on LinkedIn that it's your, it's your birthday. Just wanted to say happy birthday because they might not check LinkedIn that frequently. Yeah, and if you're unsure of some birthdays, let's say it's a client's family member and you're unsure of the birthday, LinkedIn and Facebook offer that up sometimes. So mm -hmm. uh, depending on whether or not they put it in there. Here's a related idea. If you've got clients who are remote, I've had one advisor do this. I thought it was fantastic. Take a picture of your team, birthday hats, cake with candles. You send it to them in the card and say, sorry, we couldn't be there to celebrate your birthday with you, but we were celebrating on your behalf. Oh right. my gosh, this is a really interesting idea. So you can get one picture that you could use, use for a couple year. years. A no, couple you, no, you use it all year. But next year you take oh, it. Oh, I got you. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you're right. send it again next year. <laughs> but I, I've had a team that does that and people get a rise out of it. Where I say that's related is, couldn't you paste that, post that on Facebook too? Yeah, yeah. You, you could definitely post that on Facebook. So if you're going to do it every year, if you're going to mix it up, then it needs to be very it needs to be clear between the cards that they're very they're very different different poses different hats different yeah. outfits whatever it might be yeah exactly if you want to raise the bar you've got a picture of the client with you as you're celebrating you know oh this that is a cool idea um, Go ahead, next one here uh, is uh, the day you were born newspaper so I think this is really interesting you can go to um, it's any date anydate.com slash the day you were born newspaper. And what you can do there is type in their exact date, you know, year and have you know, a newspaper for that day sent to them. Uh, and it's interesting to see the news and everything that was going on. So you can get a New York Times from June 21st, 82. And I just revealed to everyone that I'm 34 today. Um, but you can do that. And, and I want to see it. I saw it. It's about 50 bucks. So it's a little pricey. So you can't do it for all of your clients. But uh, do it for your top clients. I think they'll really think it's interesting. Yeah, and the same I, one of mine was Time or Life magazines from their birth year. Oh, okay. A little more cost effective. Those are easy to come by. Same kind of concept. Buy them online. Just Google it. They are readily available. Cool. But uh, yeah, cool concept. Um, I had birthday cakes to clients' homes. You're talking about. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, a card from your kids. Let's say you've got kids who are younger. They produce. They're 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 just prolific when it comes to producing artwork. Mm. Have them drop a card for one of your clients if it's one of your better clients. Ooh. You know, Mr. Smith. Hope you have a happy birthday and draw a little picture. Kids love art projects. That one's cool. Um, you can also look up other people's famous birthdays. I was thinking about this today. So uh, Prince mm. William, his birthday is today, mm. uh, which is kind of neat. He's actually the exact same age as me. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Um, but yeah, famousbirthdays.com. You can take a look and you can identify all the people that you know. They're same. Have the same birthday. 
birthday as one of your clients or key relationships. And you could tell them, hey, did you know that you're also born on so-and-so's birthday? I like it. Yep. Uh, I said text them, but be the first one to text them. Ooh, are you talking about like 5 a.m.? I don't care if you wake them up a little bit. Right? <laughs> really? I, I think, I you think... want to be memorable, Kevin? You, you text them at, you know... 30 minutes before they're scheduled to wake up. Right? Wow. No, I know, I mean, Not that but early, early but though. Let's early say get them early fine. in the day. Yeah. yeah. Seven o'clock in the morning, seven thirty, eight, whatever time. But you know, be one of the first ones to text them. You make it memorable or call them. Sim similar concept. Cool. Hey, um, good morning, Kevin. <laughs> you know, sorry to wake you. Oh, but, uh, uh, you don't call and you call them multiple <laughs> times until they pick up. Once they pick up and then you are so memorable, you are in ingrained into their mind. Um, that's it. That's all I had. So maybe you have some other ideas. Uh, make a donation in their honor. Oh, that's a good one. Right? Many of your clients charitably inclined. Yep. Um, we mentioned hosting a, a monthly birthday lunch for clients with birthdays. Uh, we mentioned Facebook. Yeah, you know, here, here's another one. Uh, sending a gift to their workplace that's big enough to share. Mm -hmm. And you want to recognize their birthday. That's the main intent here. But may someone ask them, where'd you get this huge basket of brownies? Where'd you get the fruit ensemble? Yeah, well, and one of the things we talk about with surprise and delight gifts is the ability for them to be shareable because, yeah, people mm -hmm. pass them around. It creates more buzz, word of mouth influence. Great idea. Love that one. And so you don't employ all of these, but part of what we would ask you to do is to think about what's the procedure within your team. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we find as we're working with elite teams is that they have documented procedures for just about everything. Yeah. They don't wing it come birthday time, and all of a sudden they get a reminder via Facebook that it's a client's birthday, and they're like, oh, geez, you know, what, what should we send to Kevin today? No, they're talking about it in advance at their team meetings. Well, yeah, exactly. And I think there's some segmentation here, mm -hmm. right? I mean, so like with some of your, your top clients, you're, you're willing to send them this edible arrangement. Uh, with other ones, you might send them that little personalized, you know, um, birthday card that you write something on because in terms of price, right? I mean, we're running a business here. We want to spend, spend more on the, on the clients who are generating more revenue. Price and effort. Yeah, absolutely. And mm -hmm. you take your top 25, you want to go all out. But you take your top 25. If the vast majority of them are, are married, that makes it 50 people there. That's true. I mean, even top 25 can be challenging sometimes. Yep. But those are the people you're going to hand deliver things to their house. You're going to place that special call yeah. early, but not too early. Uh, the ones you're going to have the birthday card drawn up from uh, by your kids. These are the people you're going to treat extra special. But it's, uh, it's worth doing, and it's an easy touch point. People will remember it. Yeah. People will absolutely remember it because, you know, I, I, what, what I'm noticing, you know, getting older is that, you know, on birthday, I, you know, people don't make a big deal about it. When you're younger, it's a big deal, right? Um, now it's uh, not, not that big of a deal and um, feeling a little, little depressed and down oh, today because sorry, no Kevin. one's really make No, but, but when it, someone does, it's kind of cool. And, um, and I, I think that when, when you, this, this should be part of your kind of gratitude marketing strategy. You should, you should be doing this kind of stuff. It's kind of a creative touch point, right? Yep. You're, you're looking for touch points throughout the year. This is kind of an easy one for both spouses. And, uh, and again, really think about what's your procedure for this. When do you discuss client birthdays in a way that it gives you time to procure some of this stuff, mm -hmm. right? If you're thinking about Time Magazines for people on a milestone birthday, you can't be thinking about that the week of. So in June, we need to be thinking about July birthdays. In yeah. July, we need to be thinking about August birthdays. If you're gonna so plan forth. a surprise party yep. for somebody with help from their spouse, you gotta start early on that, right? Yeah. So, so being ahead of the curve on this is really important. Again, hey, if you haven't checked out our coaching program, check out the show notes, fill out a console form. We're happy to chat with you about it. We thank you for tuning in, episode 32. Happy birthday to Mr. Kevin Nichols. Uh, thank you. Man, you got a lot more notes than me. It makes me a little a little worried here. Well, we're just going to go back and forth, which is going to be really embarrassing if we get to like, I'm going to be like, and do you? And you're like, God, done. I'll be like, well, I got a few more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have, I, have, I have a couple left here. It's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm okay. just kidding. We don't have to go back and forth, though. Yeah, no, I think we should go back and forth. Some of these are not, you know, mind well, blowers. Most of them, mine are not mind blowers. All right. <clears throat> Believe it or not, uh, sending them a birthday card is a good idea. <laughs> Let's start with birth. I mean, that's Over my that's you. my first one. <laughs> is birthday cards okay? Over to you, Stephen. All right. Well, well, I'm gonna try not to one up can, you on can, that one. Can you Kevin? please let me go first? <laughs> All right. Let's just do the intro.